Alright, what's going on guys, Luca here with another PvP build for the Necrom chapter update 39. I'm on my stamina warden with a classic dizzy spam build. But this time something different. On the back bar with PA, powerful sword gives us almost 300 extra weapon spell damage for ourselves and for 5 group members within 12 meters. So it's perfectly made for 2vx or small scale, really nice support set. On the front bar students, perfectly made for dizzy spammer. When you do damage to an enemy who is off balance, your penetration is increased by 5.1k for 10 seconds. And with Dizzy Swing, we can easily set the enemy off balance. Very nice, a perfect synergy. Death Eater's Feet is Smithic for the extra Magicka, Stamina and HP. Probably one of the strongest hybrid Mythics. Trainee as Philop, just for the extra HP. And the Balrog is monster set for even more penetration and extra weapon and spell damage. Armor types, 3 heavy pieces. 2 medium and 2 light, with 4 impen pieces, 1 sturdy and 2 well fitted. I don't have access to Willing Cry in this case. If you have someone with Willing Cry, you would have a ton of crit resistance already. Then I would swap uh, those 4 impen pieces for divines, well fitted, on reinforced chest for extra resistance, sturdy, that kind of stuff. Jewelry full infuse for the extra healing, one prismatic region glyph and two weapon spell damage. Front bar a sharpened maul, maul even for more penetration with the flame damage enchant and back bar sword and board, powered, well fitted. You can also go with sturdy here with the escapist poisons for over 4 seconds. This immunity. This setup is perfectly made for 2vx and small scale, like I said before. PA gives a ton of weapons spell damage for you and your group members. You can also play something like Phoenix. This set here. Healing yourself on Anak grants the target minor courage and minor force. Another good option would be Redding Cry, like I said before, for the extra crit resistance and extra weapons spell damage. You don't need to change anything if you want to. Play solo with the setup, 1vx, so just solo pvp, works perfectly fine. Skills wise pretty basic with execution or twitch execute and dizzy spam word like I said to set the enemy off balance to proc students and it also gives us the chance to use exploiter, increase the damage done against off balance targets by 10%, just 10% extra flat damage when your opponent is off balance. Deep fissure for minor and major breach, almost night cap penetration, deeds also a ton of damage. Bird of Prey, our snare removable, also magic expedition for 6 seconds and gives even minor berserk, just slotted 5% extra flat damage and with this juicy passive here, another 4% extra crit damage, just slotted. Same stuff goes for Deep Fissure. Grizzler Slap, for me personally a must have, especially for open world PvP in Cyro for example, there are just a ton of snipers around, absorbs every projectile, deals even damage and stuns the enemy. It's super expensive though, that's why I'm using a prismatic region glyph. Alternative to slap, you can also go with vines, or living trellis in this case, also nice extra healing. Then down back of smiting as ultimate. By the way, if the target is off balance, you just need to do a medium or heavy attack to stun the enemy. So this is also our main CC. Back bar, Lotus Blossom. I still prefer this morph. Go 60 seconds, gives us major prophecy and savagery to 12% crit rate, which we need. Also heals and gives even sustain back. Very nice. Bull Nudge for major brutality, 20% extra weapon damage, a ton of stamina recovery and even purchase every 5 seconds. And if you reactivate it, you gain a free purge on top. Very nice. Resolving Vigor, our main heal, also gives minor resolve 3k armor, Ice Fortress, our resistance buff, and even gives minor protection, 5% damage reduction, that's insane. Polar Wind, in this case because I played uh, two reacts with the setup, so I'm also able to heal my mate with Polar Wind. If you play solo, I would still prefer Arctic Blast as an extra CC and as extra AOE damage. Healing Thicket, same stuff here. I played 2 VX, it's a pretty nice healing ultimate, costs only 90 ultimate and can save your ass or even your mate's ass. Alternative 1 VX, for solo I would go with Spell Wall. Race Knot, for the extra resistance, ulti regen, stamina and HP. Probably the best choice, second best choice I would say is Imperial for the extra cost reduction. Mundus the Serpent, 
for over 300 stamina regen, smoke behind needed for the extra magica region, 30 points in health and 34 points in stamina. Like this, I'm at around 34k HP without Death Deal's Feet. I think with Death Deal's Feet, I'm at around 37, 38k. And with minor toughness, the 10% extra HP with uh, the one passive, even 40k HP. Necessary since we don't have a defensive set in this case. Potions, the normal tricep potions, and CPs, Exploiter, Master Dams, Biting Aura, and Ironclad. System for suffering, pain refuge, slippery and celebrity, I think especially a combination. pre of herself first with Bullnetch and Lotus for the two buffs for major brutality and savagery. Then resistance buff, polar wind and vigor for minor reserve. Also crystal slap. Then start always with deep fissure into dizzy, medium attack into dawnbreaker. If the target is below, let's say 30 percent ish. Use the executioner. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Check out my Patreon in the description below. I would really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.